here with Yuri Galman at his studio Aspen Place recording in San Fernando. He's going to give us a little tour. To open yeah, up the thank video. you for coming in. And uh, so let me show you the amps. This is what I call my wall of tone. I have a lot of vintage amps and custom shop group tubes amps. This is a little cool amp. It's called uh, uh, Electro. It was made by uh, Rick and Bakker. It's from 1947. It's a one knob amp, you know, the more you want more gain, mm -hmm. turn up the volume. And it's great for blues, you know, early blues. I've got one of those at work. It's just, it's a knob and it's got more written under it. Oh, really? You want more? You just <laughs> That's what it is. No, it's super easy, you know, it's to do. This is like a hand wire, 18 watt Gibson. These are some custom shop group tubes. This is a 1965 Selmer called the Big Giant. It's a 1958 Fender Harvard. 1964 Deluxe Reverb. And there's and more. Also, there's more. This is our uh, vocal booth and loud room. All my uh, half stacks and high gain amps are here. 1963 Tremolax, uh, Fender Tremolax. Uh, Clapton used to play with this uh, when he was at, uh, in Cream. This wow. was one of his sounds. That's a classic sound, man. Yeah. This is the, the Groove Tubes Trio. It's a preamp um, that I paired it with a Dual 75, uh, a tube um, uh, power amp. This one has three channels, clean, mean, and scream. They're great. And this channel, channel number two, uh, was designed by Bogner. Yeah. First gig. Bogner ever had here in, in the U.S. was, was with uh, Aspen at Group Tools. Oh, wow. So this is his first uh, design here in the U.S. Yeah. This is a Marshall JTM45. This is a JMP, a Marshall JMP. These cabinets are used cabinets that I got, got at the uh, Facebook market, Marketplace. Mm -hmm. These are 71, 72 greenback and cream back in you know, original. Much yeah. like your miking technique, you know, the 57 on the hi-hat. Uh, again, it's it's a testament to using your ear and mm -hmm. not, you know, who cares what the rules are. You just put some stuff in, some stuff, you put a mic, does it sound good? Yeah. And really that's that's kind of the overall message I'm feeling in, the, in this whole visit with you here. Yeah. Just, just me, don't be afraid of your, your own feelings when it comes to recording music. Yeah, to me, you know, uh, Guitar tones are very personal. It's not really bad guitar tone, it's the one guitar tone that works for the song, yeah. right? It's not so, you isolate a guitar track from a classic song and it might sound like crap, right? Mm -hmm. But but it is the right one for, for the song. AC30 Vox, this is, a, this is a cabinet box with the JBLs, the gold JBLs. Mm, and okay. these are small little amps, these are more group tubes, Marshall, uh, Hughes and, Ke and Kettner, like more metal thing. You know, we have stuff to make noise. So if you some... have a song and you've got uh, the ability to come to see you in San Fernando, mm -hmm. you don't need to show up with an amp or no. a guitar or anything like that. You've got everything. No, we got it. You know, yeah. bring your own stuff because you know it. And uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you're always welcome to bring your own stuff, but we got, we got the gear. So can we see the control room where all the magic happens? Sure, sure, sure. Just go to the control room. So here we are. Pretty cool. Tell us about the magic. What happens here and what do you what do you have to do the magic with? Let's well, we see. start with, a, you know, our front end is this Sony MXP3036 board. From the 1980s, uh, it was used to be an Atlantic Records. Aretha recorded through that. Judas Priest did that. Uh, Not at the same recorded. time, though. Well, that would have been great, <laughs> Aretha and Judas Priest. So we got a bunch of uh, preamps, quad eights with EQs. We have six of them. This came out of the Hitchcock room here at Paramount. Firm, early manly stuff, a bunch of Vipris, a group of Vipris. It's a two mic preamp that is variable impedance preamp. So mm -hmm. you can change the impedance to match the impedance of the microphone. You know, vintage microphones have lower impedance, yeah. newer microphones, so you can play with that. What do you typically use on the drum mic setup? My drum mic setup, I usually go with, I have API and the quad eights. I like a uh, solid state preamp for more percussive sounds. Mm -hmm. It's good to overdrive in the tubes, but not with something so percussive. I, I don't right. like it that right. much. I can crank this up 
and you know get a little bit of distortion out of out of a solid state mm -hmm. that is more pleasant with, with, with the drum kit. Okay. So for my drum kit, I used to you know for the kick in and out, I use these two APIs, snares. I have these two guys that are amazing, and then you know the rest of the kits, I try to have the quad eights, and um, that's pretty much it. Can you show us your mic collection? Sure. Open the mic locker. We got a bunch of uh, cool microphones. We have a lot of RCA vintage mics, 44A, 77DX. I like to use these guys as room microphones. They're really, really good. Also for guitar and vocals, they're great. Norman U47 tube uh -huh. mic. At one point, it belonged to Abbey Road. And this Neumann U48, it's basically the same microphone with that as a U47. Mm -hmm. The U47 is a cardioid and omni. This is cardioid and figure eight, and it's yeah. just a, a cable, you know, how they wired it. Yeah. I mean, it's basically the same microphone. An Elam 250, great vocal microphone. Also tube mic. Neumann U67. Mm -hmm. It's an amazing microphone on anything you put on. Vocals, acoustic guitars, electric guitars, yeah. and drums, you know, they, they work for everything. And the Sony C37A, it's the first microphone that Sony ever made. This was a favorite of Frank Sinatra for his vocals. Also, we have a very special microphones here. You know David Foster, right? The of course. Producer. In the 80s and 90s, he had his own studio. He would bring <clears throat> singers to his place and rent the microphones from uh, Design Effects, that the rental company. So he always has his C12 from singers, male, female singer, he, that's what he likes. So he brings Whitney to, to his studio, rents the C12, the AKG C12. It's a great session, it's Whitney singing, it's great. Next session, they rent the microphone and it's not as good as the one before. He calls design effects and say, hey, did you send me the same mic? He said, yeah, it's C12. I said, no, the same microphone. They check serial numbers, so they swap the mic, and it's a great session again. So every time she went to his studio, they requested that particular microphone. And they nicknamed it the Whitney because that's what she used all the time. And this is what you have here. And that's what you have. Wow. That's the Whitney? That's the Whitney. This is the Whitney. Wow. Oh my God. Oh my God. And this is the one she recorded this song for the bodyguard. Wow. And that, by the way, was uh, a soundtrack album that won album of the year when soundtrack albums never mm -hmm. win that. This is an M49 and it's called the Barbara because this is the same story as the Whitney. This is what Barbara Streisand requested. This actual microphone was modded yeah, by yeah, her Barbara's engineer. Mind. I used to use uh, Design Effects to rent a uh, Fairchild limiter, and I would always uh, request the same serial number. So, yeah, you know, in our world, it's the same sort of thing, you know? Yeah. Is this your favorite mic of all? That's, that's our echo mic. Hello. <laughs> I'm sorry to interrupt, but I would like to express my emotions in the form of song. <laughs> and I, for this, I need absolute silence. <laughs> I'm kidding. Not, not. Here, I'm going to give your favorite mic back to you. Anyway, thanks for showing this. Oh, no. this, this is Please. really, this is a retirement fund right here. Man, yeah, this is not all the mics. This is the ones we use the most. This is There's great. There's another room with more crap. I even like the uh, industrial look of the uh, Well, this the is, uh, you know, th this is bulletproof. <laughs> Thank you, Gavin. Thank you for coming. Thanks for having us. Thank you, Yuri and Autumn, who's not here, but thank you so much for having us here today. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.